Hey, what's up, you guys? After Show Reacts here. Uh, we're going to be reacting to some more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This episode is called Lie to Me. And uh, apparently it's a mission statement for the show. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, this is Season 2, Episode 7. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it so far. And let's get into it. Mom, Why is this kid late. out in the dark? Are you lost? No. My mom's just supposed to pick me up is all. Do you want me to walk you home? No, thank you. Get out of there, kid. My mommy used to sing me to She's sleep She's fucking night. crazy. Run and catch the lamb is caught in the black. Buffy, it's not what you think. I mean, I hope. Why is this Drusilla getting in the way of my banjo? Well, it seems like Louis the Sixteenth was just sort Passing of notes in class. That's fair enough. Uh, any other impressions? I just don't see why everyone's always picking on Marie Antoinette. I can so relate to her. She worked really hard to look that good, and people just don't appreciate that kind of effort. And I know the peasants were all depressed. <laughs> I'd suggest a box of Oreos dunked in apple juice, but maybe she's over that phase. Ford? Hey, Summers. How you been? Oh, my God, what are you doing here? Uh, matriculating. Huh? I'm finishing out my senior year at Sunnydale High. Dad got transferred. This is great. Who's he? So. Didn't what? think you'd remember me. Remember you. Duh! We only went to school together for seven years. You were my giant fifth grade crush. So, you two know each other. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this is Ford. Uh, Billy Fordham, this is Xander and Willow. Hi. Hey. Ford. Nice to meet you. Uh, Ford and I went to Henry together in L.A. Um... And now you're here. For real? Dad got the transfer and boom. Oh no, Buffy, he's gonna see. He's gonna see you slay a vampire. here and um then there was a, another cat and they fought the cats and then they left <laughs> oh i thought you were just slaying a vampire what what wanting a what i know buffy you don't have to lie I i've been trying to figure out the right time to how? tell you how do you know what i know you're the slayer what just like that he told you just how like Said he found that right what? before I got booted from Henry. Wow. It's neat. All right. A couple more days and we'll get to do the two things every American teen should have the chance to do. Die young. And stay pretty. Oh. Well? I can't. Unless you invite me, I can't come in. Oh, well, okay, I invite you. To come in. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> if this was a bad time. I... No, I just... I'm not supposed to have boys in my room. I promise to behave myself. Okay, good. I guess I need help. Help? You mean like on homework? No, because you're old and you already know stuff. I want you to track someone down. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Do you want to hang? We're cafeteria bound. I, uh, I'm gonna do work in the computer lab on schoolwork that I have, so I cannot hang just now. Hi, Ford. Morning. Okay, well, fess up. What? Are you drinking coffee again? Because we've talked about this. <laughs> 
It makes me jumpy. I have to go away. Oh, I love nice her. Girl. There aren't two of those in the world. Buffy. You got one chance to live. Tell me what I want to know when I let you go. Aww. Where's the other one? I killed her. <coughs> I, I killed her and she just turned to dust. It was no, you didn't. Amazing. You did not kill the her. The only thing I could track down. But they who walk with the night are not interested in harming anyone. Yeah, they are. They are, are you high? creatures above us. Exalted. You're a fool. You tell him, Angel. You don't have to be so confrontational about it. Other viewpoints than yours may be valid, you know. Nice meeting you. You really yours are, are not. a people person. Oh, nobody's gonna talk to us. I've seen enough. I've seen this type before. And they're children making up bedtime stories of friendly vampires that comfort themselves in the dark. Is that so bad? These people don't know anything about vampires. What they are, how they live, how they dress. <laughs> I don't know. He's just you know, a little I'm bit a like you. Tribe, but I'm still curious why Ford, the bestest friend of the Slayer, is hanging with a bunch of vampire wannabes. I'll pop if you don't sing. Do you um, meet anyone? There's no bird there. Anyone interesting? Like Angel? Angel. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm pretty sure this is the part where you take out a watch and say, I've got 30 seconds to convince you not to kill me. It's traditional. Well, I don't go much for tradition. Quiet, love. <sighs> well? He's oh, done. Come on. Say it. It's no fun if you don't say it. What? Oh. You've got 30 seconds to convince me not to kill you. Yes! See, this is the best. I want to be like you. A vampire. I've known you for two minutes and I can't stand you. I don't really feature you living forever. Can I eat him now, love? And I'll give you the Slayer. I don't think you'll really be... Giving him the Slayer. Buffy. He's a lot stronger than that. She can handle herself. Sure. Do you love me? What? Do you? I love you. Mm. I don't know if I trust you. Maybe you shouldn't do either. Maybe I'm the one who should decide. First, I made her insane. Killed everybody she loved. Visited every mental torture on her I could devise. She eventually fled to a convent. And on the day she took her holy orders, I turned her into a demon. Shit. He's the reason that she's crazy as balls. Wow. I asked for the truth. Can you meet me here? Sure. At nine? At nine. It's gonna be fun. She's on to you, buddy. You know, vampires are a little picky about who they change over. You are gonna offer them a trade. I don't think I want to talk anymore. Yeah, well, I still feel awfully chatty. You were going to give them me tonight. Yes. I don't know I'd figure it out. Actually, I was counting on it. You're going to die. And the only hope you have of surviving this is to get out of this pit right now. And my God, could you have a dorkier outfit? <laughs> you got to back her up, D. You look like a big ninny. You look like a magician. 627. Sunset. Ford, these people don't deserve to die. Well, neither do I. 
But apparently no one took that into consideration because I'm still dying. What? I look good, don't I? Well, let me tell you something. I got maybe six months left, and by then, what they bury won't even look like me. It'll be bald and shriveled and it'll smell bad. No, I'm not going out that way. Well, I'm sorry, Summers. Did I screw up your righteous anger riff? Does the nest of tumors liquefying my brain kind of spoil the fun? I'm sorry. I had no idea. But what you're doing is still very wrong. She's okay, right. You try vomiting for 24 hours straight because the pain in your head is so intense. And then we'll discuss the concept of right and wrong. I don't have a choice. You have a choice. You don't have a good choice, but you have a choice. You're opting for mass murder here, and nothing you say is going to make that okay. You think I need to justify myself to you? I think this is all part of your little fantasy drama. Isn't this exactly how you imagined it? You tell me how you've suffered, and I feel sorry for you. Well, I do feel sorry for you, and if those vampires come in here and start feeding, I'll kill you myself. You know what, Summers? I really did miss you. Spike! Everybody, stop! Good idea. Now you let everybody out, or your girlfriend fits in an ashtray. Let them go. Does it ever get easy? Bye. You mean life? Yeah. Does it get easy? What do you want me to say? Lie to me. Yes, it's terribly simple. The good guys are always stalwart and true. The bad guys are uh -huh. easily distinguished by their pointy horns or black hats. And uh, we always defeat them and save the day. No one ever dies and everybody lives happily ever after. Liar. I love Buffy and Giles' relationship. That's amazing. He's like... What her dad should be. It's great. Well, that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 2, Episode 7. Lie to me. It was a really good episode, actually. I enjoyed it. Um, the next episodes I will be reacting to that are Buffy. Uh, um, What's My Line Part 1? What's My Line Part 2? And Surprise. Um, I look forward to reacting to those with you and thank you very much um, I'll catch you in the next video leave a comment below um, letting me know how you feel and we'll have a little bit of a chat I don't know <laughs>